So this this movie shows a lot from Hollywood and all the glamour and glitz and everything. Do you remember your first impression of when you became a part of that world yourself and how it, what it felt like for you? Um, yeah, I hated it. <laughs> I had, there was just <laughs> strictly because I was like young. I was seventeen and like um, insecure and like couldn't deal with the energy like being thrown at me. And um, it was just like a visceral experience. Uh, and now I can like really appreciate and enjoy it, <laughs> um, just because I've like gotten older and calmed down a little bit. Um, uh, yeah, no, I like I I like clothes. I like movies. It all works, you know. Uh, you're always drawn to people that um, are gonna have like the same things that they value. And I've found a lot of people, even in this business, that seems like super superficial, uh, that that I feel like kinship with, you know. And so. Uh, it's not all BS, you know. Because, yeah, and I remember from the movie too, they said it's so easy to be seduced by the money and the glamour and everything in Hollywood. And to, but to keep true to who you really are, it's, I guess that's kind of a, a challenge sometimes when, you know, when you, you're just a part of something that seem a little fake. I don't know. How, how, is, how are you keeping so real? Because you look so real and you just act like you're like a normal girl, you know? Uh, thank you. I know, it's weird. I bet you probably sit in front of people often and go like, you're like a robot. <laughs> and I see it all the time. I'm like, why are you doing this? Like too. Yeah, trust me, no, yeah. all day. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah I, uh, I, I don't know what I would be doing if I hadn't started acting so young and then just had that like kind of inform my lifestyle uh, and like what I like to do, how I like to spend my time, like what I like to focus on, like my art and uh, if that's what you're focused on, like that's just it's it's genuine, it's pure. Um, usually, uh, it's just so obvious when people want to be like rich and famous and like win the popularity contest, and they also like have fun acting too. But it's like not the same thing. Like it's just not that's not why I do stuff. But did you want that part in the beginning? You know when I you was got nine. The... Yeah. No. <laughs> like no, I'm genuinely no. Yeah. What do you think is the biggest misconception people have about fame and that kind of... Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, yeah, I think maybe, maybe, um, I don't know. I, I don't think they view it as real life. It's like just always perfect or something like, uh, you know, f fame is placed very high on the list of things that are important to um, our, especially, I mean, the whole world, but like especially in the States, you know? Like, it's, it's, it's really above, like, wealth. Like, it's above happiness. It's just fame. Pop up. Are you looking at me? Are you looking at me? Are you looking at me? Like, it's a constant. Uh, it doesn't feel good all the time, <laughs> in case people think that that's like, it, it, trust me, you need a lot more. <laughs> um, so, so when you're out, like, you, can you walk around now and, and people wouldn't harass you? Or are, are they, like, you know, when you're walking around the street, having a dinner in a restaurant, can you do that kind of stuff still? Yeah, totally. Especially in New York. I, I love New York. I, I'm from LA and it's a little bit more self-conscious. It's a lot more self-conscious. Um, I feel, I come al I when I walk outside here, I feel so alive. Um, so yeah, definitely. I'm, you know, I can eat dinner and stuff. So I, I saw that you had to audition for this. Does that still kind of make you nervous to, to audition or are you so used to it now that? Um, I was nervous to audition for this because it's Woody Allen and uh, the the part is like pretty. Um, it, it's a, the, there's a huge contrast in tone. Like I I don't feel like Vonnie. I don't like I don't have the same energy as her. And I didn't want to bring my own to it, which is what I kind of recently have done a lot. Um, yeah, so I was really nervous. I was like, I have to prove to this guy that I'm fun <laughs> um, and that I can be like light and whatever. Um, but uh, luckily with Jesse, like um, he's one of my favorite people in the whole world. So I knew signing on to this that I would be able to deliver because I could do anything around Jesse and never get embarrassed and never feel stupid. So I could be stupid and it would look like, you know, real. Is it more exciting to, to play someone that's further from who you really are than someone that's closer to you? Uh, the way I see it, like, um, I had to shake my default settings, but I can't be anyone other than who I am. And the reason I'm drawn to, like, material or whatever is usually because 
there's a there's a reason behind it. Like making the movie is putting your finger on why I had these feelings about something. And uh, so, it, like playing a character that needs to feel a little bit different to me is really like you put in groundwork initially, and uh, it's like a little bit of prep work to like either accomplish an accent or put the clothes together perfectly. And now like you have that. But essentially, I cannot be anyone other than me. So I never, I never want to step outside myself. Uh, actors talk often about being able to hide behind characters, mm. and they love that. I want to be truly visible. That's like all I want. Um, so just you know, different schools of thought. Let's theorize about this a little bit more. Why we do things. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but do, but do you yeah. keep a little bit of everyone? Because I, I just spoke to uh, Helena Bonham Carter, and she told me she keeps a little piece of every character in her forever. Mm. Do, do you feel that way too? That you, you keep them with you? Yeah. I mean, because they're not them, it's me, you know what I mean? It really yeah. is always me. Um, yeah, it's weird, like if I, uh, I could, if, 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 if a director called me up from any movie I've ever done, I guarantee you I could go down the list right now, like, and they said, oh, we actually have a shot to pick up, I'd be like, I could do it. Like, I could go right back into every single one of them, almost like, uh, I don't know, like they're, they're not characters you play, they're periods of your life. And it's like things that you learned and like experiences that you had and they're, they're your memories. I, it sounds crazy, but like, um, I don't find a huge divide between like my life and my work. Not that I think it's all real, but like you can take, you know, it's a metaphor for stuff that's very real to me. So Woody Allen, we have to talk a little bit more about him. How is he, you know, he's such a legend. So how is it to kind of work with someone that you have probably had a lot of expectations about him beforehand? What was it like, the whole process, when you started? I was really surprised at how he um, really allowed his actors to own their roles. And um, there was really like no overt direction or uh, discussion or rehearsal of any kind. His groundwork is really put in, like, uh, in the script. And, um, yeah, I mean, he has this, like, really casual approach. Like, if I ever had any questions, I wouldn't ask him, because I know that he wants me to answer them myself. He's like, well, I don't know, how do you feel about it? Um, and I, I knew that, um, I, I knew that as soon as I said all my lines that we were not going to ever do it again. Like, you don't have chances to do more takes than exactly what he needs, um, which I think kind of instills this, like, uh, really realistic kind of casual approach to life you know, like you don't like when you have really poignant moments usually you think about them afterwards but when they're happening you're kind of not that aware of them that's what it feels like working with him oh, great thank you so much you're great by the thank way thank you thank, thank you you have much. good energy Mike. thanks <laughs>